Hi everyone, did you know that PyMall could be converted into a 3D viewer using these stylish 3D glasses? Well in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. So PyMall does have a very 3D view naturally. We can use our mouse to kind of rotate around and get a very good idea of the 3D nature of a biomolecule. We can also use our scroll wheel to kind of isolate the foreground and fade away the background. But that's no substitute for a real stereo image. To turn on the stereo view, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to where it says display and scroll down to where it says stereo mode and we're going to be using the anaglyph stereo which is the kind of image that you want that will work with our red and blue glasses. So turn on the stereo view and that's going to, you're going to notice that it's going to change the colors and it doesn't look very impressive to someone who doesn't wear the glasses but if you're wearing the glasses it really does look amazing and you can really see that parts of the molecule are jumping out at the screen and some of the kids will actually try to grab it right out of the screen and it's very very impressive especially things that are more in the foreground like this part of the DNA molecule. So that's really all there is to turning on the stereo view and using those 3D glasses. There's going to be one other thing that I'm going to show you that kind of enhances this view even more. What we're going to go to now is the under setting edit all just type in field of view and right now the field of view is set to 20. I'm not exactly sure what the 20 really represents, but if we increase that number to maybe 60, keep an eye on the background. It's going to change our perspective and it's going to actually enhance this 3D fisheye effect. So now the phosphate backbone of the DNA is really, really exaggerated, kind of jumping out at you. And if you're wearing the 3D glasses, it's very, very cool to see that. Now, you can do this with any structure in PyMol as far as I know, so feel free to use this uh, once in a while when you are um, in viewing PyMol structures. The one problem with it is that you do lose some of the colors because of uh, the way the anaglyph stereo works. When you're ready to turn it off, you can go to display, uh, and then unclick the stereo and then we're, we're kind of all back to normal. That fisheye effect is still, in, uh, is still there, which is kind of cool to see that. Now, why would we want to turn on the stereo view? Scientists really do use this feature and uh, you may need it while you're exploring a very complicated molecule. For example, when I created the ribosome structures that you see later in the curriculum, I had to use the stereo uh, view because it was just so big and complicated. It was very hard to look at it in the kind of 2D way. So actually I was using the glasses to navigate that and highlight different things there. Uh, the one other thing that you might have noticed that I'm using a gray background. I noticed that changing the background from black to gray is a little bit nicer. Um, so again, if you want to do that also, you can go to display, background, and then you can select different colors. You can do white and black. Um, the gray or light gray are usually better for doing the uh, stereo views because it just creates a little bit more contrast because of the way the, the colors work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll use your 3D glasses and if you don't have them, feel free to uh, pick some up. They cost uh, maybe a dollar or two. There's something that is uh, a lot more economical than those fancy VR goggles and I think they're almost as nice. I think it's really cool to see that and anyone can get those glasses and enjoy Pymol in 3D.